Best sleep positions. Let's face it. Sleep is a big part of our lives, even if we're not getting 8 hours, but there's more to it than you might think. If you're having problems getting enough sleep or have an injury, there's more to it than laying down and catching some ZZs. Your sleep position plays a big role in your sleep quality, which means it might be time for you to switch it up. Different sleep positions have different benefits. If you're struggling with pain or other health issues, you might need to switch your sleep position in order to help manage it. And, while it might not be something you can do in one night, it can definitely be worth trying out. Taking the time to gradually train yourself to sleep in a new position could be the secret to improving your sleep quality. However, if that's something you aren't comfortable with, don't stress about it. You can also try modifying your favorite sleep position to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Every individual is different. What's important is that you're doing what works for your body and your sleep needs. Fetal position. There's a reason why this is the most popular sleep position. The fetal position has loads of benefits. Not only is it great for lower back pain or pregnancy, sleeping in the fetal position can help reduce snoring. Unfortunately, sleeping in a fetal position does have a few downsides. Make sure your posture is relatively loose, otherwise your comfy position could limit deep breathing while you snooze. Also, if you have any issues with joint pain or stiffness, sleeping in a tight fetal position might leave you sore in the morning. Sleeping on your side. As it turns out, sleeping on your side is actually pretty good for you, especially if you're sleeping on your left side. Not only can it help reduce snoring, but it's also great for your digestion and might even reduce heartburn. An older study looked at 10 people over the course of two days. On the first day, participants rested on their right side after eating a high-fat meal. On the second, they switched to the left side. While this was a small study, researchers discovered that sleeping on the right side increased heartburn and acid reflux, which suggests it could be a good reason for switching sides at night. Sleeping on your side, on the other hand, may not always be the best. Not only can it cause stiffness in your shoulders, but it can also lead to jaw tightness on that side. Plus, research suggests that sleeping on your side could contribute to wrinkles. Putting a pillow between your lower legs will help better align your hips to avoid low back pain. Sleeping tip. If you prefer sleeping on your side, make sure to choose a good pillow to avoid neck and back pain. Sleep on whichever side feels most comfortable, but don't be afraid to switch to a different position if it's not working for you. Lying on your stomach. If we had to rank sleeping positions, lying on your stomach might be at the bottom of the list. While it's a good position for snoring or sleep apnea trusted source, the benefits don't extend much further. Unfortunately, sleeping on your stomach can cause both neck and back pain. It can also add a lot of unnecessary strain to your muscles and joints, which is why you might be waking up sore and tired. Placing a pillow under your lower belly might help reduce back pain. Sleeping tip. To make it better, try sleeping with a thin head pillow, or no pillow, to reduce any added stress on your neck. You can also try slipping a pillow under your pelvis to reduce lower back pain. Help break bad habits and improve your well-being in difficult times, creative healing can be a powerful tool. Learn actionable tips from expert creatives Reggie Watts, Bregan Jane, Chef Naisha Arrington and neuroscientist Dr. Wendy Suzuki. Flat on your back. Sleeping on your back offers the most health benefits. Not only does it make it easiest to protect your spine, but it can also help relieve hip and knee pain. As the Cleveland Clinic explains, sleeping on your back uses gravity to keep your body in an even alignment over your spine, which can help reduce any unnecessary pressure on your back or joints. A pillow behind your knees may help support the natural curve of the back. Plus, if you're worried about keeping your skin looking fresh, sleeping on your back protects it from any pillow or gravity-induced wrinkles. On the flip side, sleeping on your back can be difficult for anyone who struggles with snoring or sleep apnea. It can also be difficult for anyone who already struggles with back pain, which is why it's important to make sure you're properly supported. Sleeping tip. If sleeping on your back, try sleeping with a pillow behind your knees to reduce back pain and relieve pressure on your spine. 
If you're congested, you can also prop yourself up with an extra pillow to make breathing easier. The takeaway. We spend roughly one third of our lives sleeping or attempting to sleep. Your sleep position matters more than you might think. If you're having trouble sleeping, your health can suffer. Plus, sleep deprivation is about more than getting enough sleep, sleep quality matters, too. If you don't feel rested when you wake up, try practicing good sleep habits. Incorporating sleep hygiene into your regular routine can help boost your sleep quality in a big way. Avoid excess caffeine, exercise regularly, establish a nightly schedule that helps you relax and prepare for sleep. Try keeping a sleep diary for a week or two. You can keep track of any patterns in your sleep habits and sleep quality so you can get a better look at what's working versus what isn't. Remember, you don't have to change your sleep position if you aren't having any issues. Do what feels best for you. The most important thing is to make sure you're waking up feeling rested and ready to go. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For getting more useful and interesting information to subscribe to the channel, Naturepedia.